How excited is everybody? <laughs> Woo! Who knows where we're going next, bro? We're going that way. Dude. We're going so that way. Enough. Yeah, into like the storm. It's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like the darkness. We can't even see out there. I'm yeah. gonna shit myself right now. Yeah. <laughs> We people celebrating at it from our homeland Like my old man said, there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical straight from the crew, out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past when it's calling This one's down, we're just stopping, nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining and then this report taking Previously on Delos we spent four amazing months living the city life in Cape Town. <laughs> Shit's getting weird in the VA. <laughs> and we have a crew competition to find our new crew for the sail back to the Indian Ocean. How much sailing have you guys done? Uh, I'm at the harbor a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> so it was time. We had spent four awesome months in Cape Town. Our new crew had arrived and we were setting sail for a reunion. A 3000 nautical mile sail that would take us back around Cape Point, across the Aglas Current and down to a latitude of 35 degrees south. It was definitely going to be one of our most challenging passages ever. Guys, I've been so hungry. The hard, I don't. Is this normal? <laughs> I've just been eating and eating. <laughs> that yeah. hunger back here. Yeah. yeah. And we've got some moon art, but it's hidden now. That's Three good. months ago, I met you. The weirdest thing for me was when I heard, you know, Brian's voice as the as the narrator. And I was like, oh, it, it feels like he's narrating life. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be, be here or doing this. Like I couldn't imagine. I couldn't have dreamt this up. Like, this is your first months. night on a sailboat, isn't it? First night, uh, my first watch. First watch. My first watch. <laughs> Shit, how does it feel? It's good, man. Um, it's a lot of responsibility that you that you guys have put on us. But uh, not yet. The I'm buddy really system, at least, is good yeah. for now. Are we going to go to a point where there's no buddy system? Of course. Nice. But only when you guys are comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it will be a salty semen in no time. Ah, already feeling salty, but yeah. You guys are good teachers. 
So what do I expect from this? I mean, you just like, you packed your shit, you quit your job, and you jumped on a boat never having sailed before, sailing in the southern Indian Ocean, which could be quite dangerous. Some say even deadly. Uh, Well, this morning I woke up at 7.30, and I didn't even sell my car. I just drove it to my old job that I quit, and I parked in the car park, and gave one of my old work colleagues my car keys and said, can you sort it out for me? Well, we'll see whether that happens. <laughs> you got to let life run its course. Can't be in control of everything. That's why you go sailing, right? Number one, bro, number one. <laughs> Thoughts from Dylan on Night Watch. Oh, yeah. What's going on, Carmen? Well, there's some really big swell going on here. We've just missed like a really shallow piece over there. And we can see a breakwater. It's pretty scary. <laughs> but we're surfing along nicely. We reached, what is it, 15 knots? Yeah, maybe that's our, you know, top speed. So on this side, we have the Atlantic Ocean. On this side over here, we have the Indian Ocean. Are we crossing right now? Yeah, are we like half mm. half right now? Sunrise in the southern Indian Ocean. Conditions are epic. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Probably, I mean, it's 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 unreadable, basically. So, 60, 70, 80, you don't really know how many knots. So, we're going to pull into a little port called Muscle Bay here, and we'll be in probably about right there. So it's nice and calm, and we'll anchor up and tie everything down, and then this thing will start to hit us um, about 12 hours, probably after we anchor. I, I got quite a fright looking at that thing. Yeah. When we were looking at the weather maps. No, it's scary to be out here, man, because the weather can change like that. Yeah. And it's not like a typical trade winds across the Atlantic or across the Pacific. It's like these massive lows come across the south of Africa and they can get big and small within a matter of a couple of hours. So it's nerve wracking. It's definitely. Uh, a slam right back into it after being in the dock for like <laughs> five for months. How long? Five months. Have you yeah. been? Have you been itching to get back on the back, back on the boat? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, kind of. It's like here, I'm out now, and, it, and it's like fuck. It's cool to be out here, but still, it's like it'd be nice to be tied to the dock and go have a shower. And it is nice. You get so used to these comforts, you know. Yeah. Having long hot showers and having a flat bed. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fucking cold out here. Yeah. And the wind's blowing. But you, you, don't get, belong. you get anxious because you know there's a massive storm chasing you. Yeah, I agree. But really, I guess at the end of the day, that's why we do what we do, right? Exactly, man. And you're built, you're built for ocean, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> no, you do well. Look at I wish I had webbed toes. Look, we've got some teas going on here. So, me and Carmen are on watch. <laughs> and I look downstairs, and the boys are looking at the movie. So cute. I know, isn't it? Aww. Why can't they always be like that? Look at all of them. Passed out. They are so passed out. And here are we sailing the spot. <laughs> the girls. So we've entered the port of Mosselby and we're trying to look for a place to either drop the hook or pick up a mooring. A bit more to starboard. Okay. Clear to drop? Clear to drop. Ready, where are we, dude? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in 
Muscles Bay, Muscle Bay is fishing harbor. Yeah, why? Well, what are we doing here? Well, that bitch of a storm is coming. Yeah. And they don't have any room for us at the yacht club. Um, so these fishermen or whatever this kind of boat they're on are nice enough to let us tie up next to them. Can you take up the slack because we want one spring running forward and one spring running aft? We'll be nice and snug in here. Nice and protected. Yeah, yeah it's much starting, better than out there. Yeah, it's starting to get choppy out there. Gordon, say it again. The storm is kicking in. The barometer is reading 996. As you can see, over the past 24 hours, it's dropped from 1010 to 996. It's coming, brother. I am so glad we're here, though. How does it look out there? Nasty. We're bouncing around a lot here, but all the lines are stretchy, so the worst we're going to experience is just jerking it. You know? <laughs> this is the scariest storm we've ever been in. <laughs> this light's going on and off. We have ropes on creaking. We're rocking and rolling in here. That was, it is blowing. 50, 51. At 51, huh? Yeah. There. It's wild out there. It's really wild. Oh man, the storm last night was intense for about two hours and then she gone. Yeah, we've got 15 knots right now. But for two hours it was it was blowing like 50. Then we got the Dodger down in time. That thing was about to blow away. But other than that, man, we survived the storm tied up to the tug. Okay. And the weather, there's nothing bad coming for two days, I think. So we have like a two day window to get somewhere. So we're gonna go out. All we have to do is make five knots. It's like 135 miles, and then that's it. So that puts us in Kips and Francis at about what time tomorrow? Yeah, about 26 hours from now. So about two-ish in the afternoon. Francis Bay, round two. We're gonna pull in and wait out weather and see our buddy Pete. It's, it's a little bit of a narrow entrance, but the conditions are perfect for it. Yeah. Uh, I got 2.4 under the keel, 2.3, 2.2. Yeah, don't go any further back just yet. Okay. So we pulled into St. Francis to dodge another gnarly southwesterly blowing through. I felt so ready to start our sail east towards Reunion. But this is part of the cruising life, and St. Francis is actually an awesome place to get stuck for a while. We'll have to find ways to entertain ourselves and be patient until yeah. we find Oh, I know weather. lots of ways to entertain myself. Ducked up and out.
<laughs> We're the one, right? Thank you. I'm moving up. We'll try to behave ourselves tonight. Right I'm moving onward and up. Cause I'm weary I'm in love What kind of snake is that? If I get smarter <laughs> The mom gets known Dinner's ready! Oh, see you later. <laughs> okay, we got sea otters on deck. Come on up, come on up. Bless their cotton socks. I'm brushing my teeth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, he bit me! He bit me! <laughs> bit me! But I don't even mind, it's so adorable. Look at him go. Look at that. He drew blood. <laughs> what a crazy night. <laughs> what a crazy night. <laughs> Is it filming? Yeah, we're really good. Right. Okay. okay, so We've... we came down to the beach today. It was very big, the waves yesterday. And we just wanted to come and check it out because we we're planning on leaving today. Yeah, yeah, it's what day is it today? I don't know. Um, but um, we're most likely going to leave, so we just came down to have a look. Just to check that it's not going to be too much of a bumpy ride. <laughs> but, da 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 da. Woo! It looks good. <laughs> Yesterday, the, like the, all along this wall over here, there was like massive swells mashing up against this wall. But, um, yeah, so that, that would have been impossible, but I think we can do it. So, here we go. Regardless of weather, I think everyone's just wants to go now. I think Already it's time. Now. I'm excited now. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> what do you think? We're going down the rabbit hole. We're <laughs> 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 gonna be cut off. We don't know what we're in for. It's yeah, just gonna so... be going down into Wonderland. <laughs> So we're on we're on water water conservation mode now, big time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And we're on trash trash conserving mode. Yeah, organics overboard. Organics overboard. Plastic Only needs to be plastic. washed. Yeah, yep. from the trash. And save electricity mode. Yeah, yeah. and so everyone getting unplugged. used to BO mode. Oh yeah, yeah. showers are done. Right. <laughs> Fifteen to twenty-one days of sheer experience, and but yeah, we're ready to go, man. Boat's in good shape, everything's working, the crew is good, there's no wind, but it's better to have no wind than to have wind in the wrong direction, so we're ready, we're out. Let's do it. Let's do it. What? Okay. Goodbye, Doc, for a while. Hi, St. Francis! See you later! <laughs> but we're out and it feels oh, awesome. Get Sweet! We get ready. Next on Delos. It's an exciting time. We make this right turn and we're This is it. We're off in the South Indian Ocean. We continue our 3,000 nautical mile sails towards Reunion in the gnarly southern Indian Ocean. <laughs> yes! That's so hectic! <laughs> How do you sleep in this? And Dello starts taking in water. Water squirts up through the bow thruster and goes into the, the forward bilges. So outside my head was just filled with water, like all the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first thing in the morning. <laughs> That's a wrap. Let it move and expand. First act as man. Like it? I like it a lot.
chafing below the nips is okay. Yeah, you are here. gonna look like a dirty Mexican. Be gross. <laughs> I, I want to radiate like a pregnant woman. You really are, pretty. Um, I'm feeling okay. The lesser known horse tickler. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Sir Carol Dobrev. Bless their little furry, beaver like features. <laughs> <laughs> Someone loved me! Someone and Brady fell on top of me with his massive dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of his dad bod. Here, hang out of it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>